Um, by the way, uh, just for prosperity's sake or information's sake for everyone, Beat the Devil or Beat Lucifer uh, contest was actually an inventing contest that was done around 1700 to 1800 or so, where I openly went up against humanity. It was me versus humanity. Well, well you know who I am. Um, and you know my inventions. <laughs> you know... My long line, line of, uh, of inventions, flight, aircraft, steam, engines, um, some drilling stuff. I had a, quite a few inventions underneath my belt. I was quite a different person back then. I was, um, you know, for, 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 for around 300 to 500 to about 1,000, uh, year 1,000, I was the best. <laughs> you know, um, no one could match me. No one had matched me. I was um, about 10, 20 years ahead of, ahead of everyone. And so at one point I was like, all right, guys, dog pile. And, and so I put it out to, 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 the, to the general public. I was like, all right, beat me in inventing. You know, you, you've seen what I've done um, up to about 1300, th year 300 or year 700. Um, I was the leader of invention. I was the best inventor ever you know my tractors i mean you see my steam engine you see in my early war tractors um caterpillar john deere um before you know those base things they're not that good but they're but they were all right <clears throat> anyway so at one point i was like all right beat me and so i opened it up and um and uh teams of people went up against me basically to, to see who could could who could invent me, invent better than me. I had my own team too, a uh, small team, but mostly it was it was me and a couple people, a uh, couple couple experts, and uh, you know we always pulled ahead. I was always a little bit better, um, you know, um, and basically stayed ahead for a while. But then you know after a while after a while the uh, humanity actually started doing better than me. So which I was happy. I was like, oh that's cool, awesome. Anyway though, but but I kept the lead for quite a while. Um, you know, all the way up until about, ooh, I would say 1900 is about when I topped out and when humanity actually started pulling ahead. And I was like, all right, cool. Um, but for about, ooh, well, I mean, it was about a thousand years or so. I was light years ahead of everyone else. And I was like, oh, awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, I was building stuff like crazy selling it. But um, I mean, in the end, I still I still bought everyone's, you know, it's like it's like beat the De <laughs> beat Lucifer, you know, and, and, and his own game inventing. And so I opened it up. And what I did was I just I bought their inventions. I was like, all right, I'm buying your invention and uh, you're going to build it for me. So for about, you know, a good 20 years after that, I basically bought bought people's inventions and basically just turned them loose on the market and eventually turned it into society, as you know, it, pretty much. But that was kind of how I did it a little bit. I was like, I was like, all right, <clears throat> open contest, um, and humanity went up against me, and humanity won. Wow, awesome, cool. Anyway, and I bought humanity's inventions and basically said, cool, uh, I own your companies, but hey. Anyway, and that's kind of what I did. So um, anyway, though, but that's that's <laughs> what the whole beat the devil mean uh, means anyway is uh, that's from the turn of the century or night or year uh, 1700 or whatever you know where I was the lead inventor of everything and basically most regard me as a as an inventing god you know or at least the supreme inventor and um, after that I just kind of like ran things and just kind of like kicked it you know and basically bought people's inventions with my huge sums of money which which uh, I didn't you you know, I didn't just just buy them and steal their, their their idea or anything. It's like it's like, all right, you now work for me. And um, you know, they got to live in really nice houses. It was a fair deal. Uh, humanity got 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 a, got a bunch of cool inventions, and I got you know, and I got to just relax and kick it. You know, basically enjoy my retirement and still make a fair amount of money. Like I said, in the end, I didn't really need a country, but I mean, it's still nice. It's nice to own a country, but um, but anyway, though. Um, but, you know, I mean, I opened it up to where people could, you know, invent me. And they could, you know, and, and like I say, <clears throat> in the end, in the end, if you're an inventor, um, you know, I mean, I went through hell, of course. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I crawled humanity up from the, from the ashes, basically, or, or from the depths of, of what is, of what was, um, you know, the Stone Age. You know, I worked humanity through, through the Stone Age, and it was a difficult challenge. Um, 
and uh, difficult for me, difficult for, for other people who took part. In the end, um, you know, I mean, we created civilization out of it. But um, kind of interesting thing, the way I worked it and the way, you know, I did my own inventions and then other people took part in inventing it. It's just kind of, you know, we built civilization. So, um, but that's what the whole, you know, around year 90, or 1700 to 1800, uh, I, or 1900, I did the beat the devil, or beat Lucifer, beat master inventor, invent, inventing. And that was where I would buy people's inventions and then I'd set them to work, you know, earning a, a, a very nice wage. I mean, they were rich. I mean, it's not like I didn't pay them very well. I did. I paid them very well, but their their um, their companies were then mine, you know, um, and they're working for me basically. So, uh, you know, so first tractors, first this, first cars, Ford, all those companies. A lot of companies were basically mine from the get go, and then they just worked for me and earned a lot of money. But then they had risk free, and I owned the country. So it's like, yeah, you know, you know, and it was a way to to, to get to where we are. Anyway. Something I did, you know, around 1900 uh, or so, and and a lot of people loved me for it because um, because you know they didn't have to worry about it. Their people got paid regardless. Stuff got produced regardless. Uh, they didn't really have to worry about the pay that much. Um, you know, um, they didn't have to worry about selling their items. You know, we basically all worked as a unit and basically set up everything that is civilization. You know, the banking, the um, you know, it's kind of like I was working, they were working, everybody was working, we were doing like this whole like, like maneuver where, where, where we just like rolled it around and um, came back to ourselves kind of like thing where suddenly civilization became and we were in the modern day era. And it's one of those things, you know, as we moved along. So anyway, that's, but that's what that, that means. Beat the devil!